Hi there. Um, this is primarily for the uh, the foam fighter guys and also I guess Brando RC uh, that um, just kind of results from the KF KFM two airfoil testing I was doing. I tried the four and also the two. So I don't know if anyone else would, other than you guys would be interested in this, but I thought I'd just make a video to tell you my findings. I know you've been uh, seeing some videos of this uh, this plane over here. This is my Eurofighter, and uh, this one specifically I used the the two one. Uh, ended up crashing. This is the one you saw where the nose was repaired. So you can see there's just a little seam here where I glued it back together. And this thing actually stuck in. It was pretty strong. Maybe two inches in, I had to yank the nose out from out of the ground. If you've ever flown a uh, uh, slow stick where it's got the dihedral V-shaped wing, the KFM-2 sort of acts just like that. So this jet was pretty forgiving. The only problem is it didn't want to turn upside down. Every time you turn it upside down, it want to fly and turn itself back over this way. So uh, I tried looping it, same thing. It, it seemed like it run into like a big wall of air and somehow want to just force itself over this way again, you know. Um, it, does, it did have a lot of lift, so this is a pretty heavy plane. And I was surprised because it felt it was really floaty in the air. Uh, the other thing about this airfoil is that the faster you went, the more it wanted to straighten itself out. So if you would be turned slightly this way, you'd want to sort of just rotate it out until it was actually flying straight again. You know, so it was it was a uh, it was pretty easy to just let go of the, the the control sticks and have it sort of straighten itself out. Um, it kept it from stalling because I know a couple of times I wanted to go really slow just to see what would happen if it stalled, and you know it always end up somehow recovering and pulling out of a stall really quickly. Whereas my last plane, it was a that X41, it was a speed plane. Um, I mean, it did. It, it had pretty much a razor blade wing to it, you know, similar to what this is like up here. That's how thin that, that X41 wing was, and it kept wanting to stall all the time. But it was really fast. You know, problem is it didn't want to fly slow. Uh, I tried testing the gyros on this thing, and you can tell that I pulled them. I pulled them all out. Uh, so I tried using one gyro on a single. Air, uh, Elevon, and it was just sort of adjusting, it was set to the roll, you know, so it was just moving the one Elevon, and it seemed to be okay, but it didn't have enough authority to really try to hover it, and that's originally what I was trying to do, is hovering a pusher prop jet, um, you know, in slow motion, kind of like this. So it didn't have enough authority to kind of do that, and when it did turn the gyro up a little bit more, it would start wobbling, you know, so even at the lowest setting, it would start wobbling it like uh, maybe 40 miles an hour so it would literally go like this you know as it was flying which uh, knocked out about 10 miles an hour on the uh, on, on the top speed of this thing and if you like flying fast it's not really that's not really uh, something you're looking for is to drop down the speed of your plane the other thing that the gyro did is is, is basically it, it kept it from from uh, I mean it kept it under better control at slower speeds you know the, the more speed you picked up the more the KF airfoils would sort of kick in and, and, and increasing the stability of the jet. You know, but at slow speeds it worked pretty well. It's just that you couldn't fly more than 40 miles an hour without it wobbling out like this, you know. The KFM-4 is probably the best for aerobatic type stuff, you know, the stuff that you've got it uh, on the bottom and on the top. So you've got an equal airfoil that you've glued up on the, the top right there to the bottom. So that seems to be the best for being able to fly upside down. But otherwise, this thing this thing flew like a brick upside down. It literally didn't want to fly upside down. You know. Uh, all right. So far, those are the findings I got right there. Uh, if you want a lifty plane, um, and if you want a beginning type jet that's pretty forgiving, KFM2 works really good because it keeps from stalling. Um, and if you want to get a little bit more aer aerobatic and you want to be able to uh, get speed you know, you want to be able to fly upside down too, KFM4 is the way to go.